Hey guys, welcome to Brick Talk TV Live. Happy New Year to you on this New Year's Eve 2020. Hope everybody's looking forward to 2021. Uh, in today's episode, we are looking at this architecture series um, Empire State Building set. Uh, so we'll be building along with that today. I think there's about 1,700 pieces in this uh, set. So we'll see how far we get in one stream. It may, may filter over into two streams, but we'll try and do our best today in one stream. Uh, hopefully you caught the Flintstone stream, which we did a couple of days ago as well. And you can see that's now displayed here on the shelf uh, at the moment. If you missed it, do check the channel out because it's now published up there. So you can watch it back to your heart's content. The uh, next published stream, I think is on the 10th of January. Uh, and in that we will be continuing the architecture theme and we'll be looking at building the Eiffel Tower next. It's a much smaller build, I think. So it should take us as long next time. Uh, there may also be another... Um, random live stream coming out soon as well i'm just waiting for a delivery to come through for that and more information will be put out on uh, instagram and on twitter as well so if you've not subscribed to those do check out our social media um, both of those are tagged with uh, at uh, brick talk tv uh, so you can find them quite easily so back to today then we're going to uh, crack open this uh, brand new empire state building set and i'll just flip you over to the build view so you can get a closer look at what we're going to be building <laughs> Hey LGM Studios, welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. Right, let's see what we've got in the box. This is my second venture into the architecture series. I um, purchased the Statue of Liberty for Bricktown a couple of months ago. Um, there'll be a video coming out soon reviewing that and I've also put in there a, a quick thing to change the face uh, based on JK Brickworks uh, face, but I've slightly tweaked it. Uh, cool, you've got the White House architecture set. I'm, I was thinking about getting that one, LGM. You'll have to let me know if that's, uh, if that's a good build. A lot of people I've heard have said it's quite, uh, quite a large build compared to what they were expecting. So let's see what we've got in the box in terms of bags and instructions then. So we've got one bag, bag four, another bag one, bag two, five, Another four, three, another two, and another three. So we've got uh, five sets of bags to get through. I've heard some people say that this one could be a bit monotonous with the windows, uh, and I can see there's lots of grill pieces in uh, bag two. So that's going to be an interesting uh, part. Let's just put the box to the side a second and see the instructions. Uh, so inside the instructions, and have we got? We have got about 200 and 201 steps to get through today so it's going to be a, a probably the biggest build we've done on the live stream today so far so let me just get the extra bags out of the way and let's crack open bag set one Is, is the uh, is the White House a bit fiddly then? You have to keep an eye on the uh, the parts you're putting in. Make sure you don't put them in. Right. I'm actually surprised how much I like the architecture range. As I said, I've only built the, the Statue of Liberty, but I wasn't particularly, um, didn't really think they would look that good, to be honest. But then once you get into the build of them, I actually find them quite, quite enjoyable. Um, I, what I was gonna try and do was try to collect some of the ones where I visited uh, the buildings of. So I was trying to get the Arc de Triomphe as well. Uh, and then maybe, uh, I've not been to the White House, so I'd be cheating if I tried to get the White House one. But maybe I'll build Trafalgar Square also looks interesting but it seems a bit expensive to me at the moment so I'll maybe try and get that uh, in the in the sale oh, is it tedious is it the White House that's a shame uh, but it's a bigger it's just, the second version is a lot bigger than the first version because they've got the the side wings haven't they in the in the latest one so let's go on with bag one then so it looks like the first bit is we're going to be building the uh, the base as always of course for the building and it looks like it's going to be some uh, yellow New York taxis floating around the around the place 
Oh, you've been to the, in the White House. Wow, that's cool. I'd love to go to the White House. I was aiming to go to Washington maybe at some point. I'd go to Capitol Hill as well. Uh, the um, House of Cards got me interested to visit. But I haven't got around to it yet. Maybe we, maybe next year with COVID calming down. Who knows if it does. So, let's get these tiles going for the base. I was rushing uh, to get onto the stream earlier because I was taking the Christmas decorations down as well. So uh, it's a tradition now in this house to um, put the decorations up early, uh, just after my birthday in November actually, because I won't have them up before that, um, and then take them down New Year's Eve so that once New Year's out of the way, um, we're all done. So there, there we are. So LGM, there are five sets of bags. There's two here. One, four, five, six, seven. It's about eight, eight bags in total, spread over five sets, sets of bags. I said I think it's about seventeen hundred parts, and I'll put that, yeah, just about there on the bar. So it's one thousand seven hundred sixty-seven parts going to uh, going to Lego. Also, we've. Uh, just before I came on as well, we smashed through the 450 subscriber mark, which uh, which is great. So if you've not subscribed yet, why not hit that subscribe button? Right, so we've got the the Empire State tile there as well, ready to go. Don't know where I'm going to stick this model once it's constructed. I don't think I'll stick it into Brick Town. I think I might put it on the shelf or in a a bedroom in my house somewhere for visitors. In fact, I've got a picture of a New York skyline in one of the one of my bedrooms, so maybe I'll stick it in there to get a bit of a New York theme going on. I've been up the Empire uh, State Building. Uh, probably would have been maybe six years ago now, something like that when the world was a different place. Uh, the biggest set I've built, uh, I've got the Millennium Falcon, so it's probably uh, the Millennium Falcon, I guess. Uh, it would be, yeah, because I've not, um, I've not built the Colosseum, so yeah, Millennium Falcon. The large one is the largest one um, that I've built, and I, I bought that just as we went into lockdown in the UK. Uh, so I, was, I thought it probably would last longer than two weeks, so I thought I better get myself a big set to occupy myself throughout the lockdown. And of course, here we are eight months later, and I'm still, I, I built it, and I'm, I'm buying more sets to uh, occupy myself because I can't go outside. Um, so yeah, Millennium Falcon. I actually really did enjoy it as well. It was uh, I was umming and ahhing because of the colours. It seemed a bit uh, a bit samey, although there's you know different textures and pieces you stick on it. Um, but actually, there's a, there was a level of detail internally which I didn't appreciate before. So um, I did really enjoy it, and I would recommend it if you can get it, if you can afford it, and you're a Star Wars fan. Now, these two. What's your, what's your largest set, LGM? What, what's the biggest thing you've built so far? Sixty-six Bat Cave. I don't think I've seen that set. That sounds like a fun set. I just did the uh, the Batwing and the Batmobile. I didn't think much of the Batwing to be honest, but I did enjoy the um, the Batmobile. Batwing kind of just seemed like a big big piece of sort of plastic, really, to be honest. Uh, 
but it was interesting to get the shape the way they got the shape of the bat silhouette but um yeah i wasn't that that excited by the build itself to be honest but bat bat reveal was much better much more detail more things that pop out and you play with See, Lego just published their um, promotions for January, and they're going to be uh, giving away the uh, monster book from Harry Potter with purchases over I think seventy-five dollars on the Lego store. So I'm, I'm keen to get the monster book. Um, so I'm, I might get the, I might have a go at the um, Lego art uh, in order to get that. They've got a the Hogwarts. Um, shield set that you can get so you can make all the different uh, Slytherin and Gryffindor etc um, picture of mascot shield um, I think it's about £110 so I might try that I might do that as a live build as well maybe because I've, I've not tried the, the sort of Lego art range yet so I have to build a bit of the road now I think on the base see where some of the yellow taxis are going to go Stripe bits in the road, do you think? And these are junctions. Perhaps. What's the next set you guys are going to be building for the new year? Has anybody got their eye on? A new set. I think I'm waiting for the, like most people, for the modular that's coming out at midnight tonight. So maybe I'll do that. Since I'm not doing much for, for New Year this year. But um, I think UK are still struggling with getting um, shipments from Lego because of the they closed the border just before Christmas, and I think. The delivery companies are still struggling to uh, get deliveries out because I have still got the gingerbread house on order and it's not shipped yet because of the delays. So I don't expect to be getting the modular anytime soon, even if I order it. So I'm doing the other side of the road now, the, in front of the Empire State Building. You've got the Lego architecture book for Christmas as well, and there's some interesting. Um, other monuments in there that you can build. I do quite like this micro scale. I remember when I got the Hogwarts set in micro scale, I was a bit unmanaring about whether to get it because it was in micro scale, and I thought mm, I prefer it to be minifig scale. But um, actually, I find it mini uh, the micro scale really interesting. The way that they use the pieces to depict certain things, it's quite clever, I find. So I could quite easily get into more micro scale builds. Yes, the Jago City Garden is uh, does look like a good a good set. I saw the pictures for that the other day. Uh, I've still got my um, New Jago City down here, you can't see. I've not put it up anywhere yet. Um, and I also want to get the uh, the Lantern Garden is it Lantern Garden? The, the new New Year Chinese set. So maybe I'll try and squeeze in some uh, Chinatown kind of uh, area in Bricktown. Maybe where the police station is going to go. Uh, I've got one more table left in space to fill up before I run out of space completely. 
And for one by two, there it is. So I'm starting to fill up this road area now, and then So this is where we are so far, end of step 12, but the uh, the base pretty much constructed there. See still some more bits to put on, but it's taking shape. Oh, now we're gonna build some taxis. And of course the taxis are just yellow jumper plates with the yellow one by one square tile on. There's a New York cab for you. I've ridden in a New York cab once, I think. Twice, twice, tell I, twice. The city garden set hopefully is um, as good detail as the uh, the original city set. It's almost like a another level of detail when you build these these sets. So hopefully they've continued that. I know it's quite a large park count, over five thousand, isn't it? So hopefully they've continued with the level of detail. Right, so now we've got a bit of a pavement going on or sidewalk, as they say in the states. Where is the curved piece? There it is. Always when I can't find a piece, it's on its side. Uh, brain's not wide enough to recognize pieces on their side. Right, so end of step 15, got a bit of sidewalk going on, and the cab's in position. Yeah, these uh, these little pieces do uh, do test your concentration levels, that's for sure. That's why I'm apprehensive about the, uh, the art sets. I'm not sure whether all those little round one by one pieces will uh, give me a headache at the end or whether it's actually <laughs> an enjoyable experience to build nothing worse than when like building something actually isn't enjoyable and it's just a chore to get it done kind of just step away and leave it for a bit and come back to it then
Imagine it's going to get even more difficult when we start putting the windows in. The grill pieces. It's hiding on another piece. Done the pavement, one more piece, and there you go. There's a sidewalk, lots of dots. I'll not check the front of the uh, the box to understand what the dots are. Maybe there's people sitting there, standing there. Try not to look too much at the box. I'd like it to be a surprise. So, looks like we're going to be doing the entrances next bit. So there's going to be some. Uh, Canopies going over the front entrance, and they are made up of these two by three tiles, one by one black piece, and then a one by one transparent piece to give an idea of a glass door. So you kind of get this, I don't know if you can see it, zoomed in, that kind of effect, and you've got to do that four times. And that's going to give us the entrances to the Empire State Building. All right, one more to go. There is. So, entrance way is constructed. Now I need to be put into position. So, there's the first one. There's the second one. Third and fourth. Is there a way of not touching a black tile without leaving your fingerprints on it? Because I've already got fingerprints on that. And my Batmobile is covered in fingerprints. I need to figure out a I don't want to put gloves on, I suppose gloves would be the only option. So next up, we've got to do one by four tiles with these one by two clear pieces. So like that, Ooh, I see that. I don't know whether these are storefront kind of things, maybe. But we've got to make eight of those. Let's do all eight first. I feel like these are like shop windows. Like the windows in the base of them shop is there? there's not really a shop at the bottom i don't think from what i can remember it's been a while I remember there was a long queue that seemed to never end well it did end but just kept going down up a lift another queue up a lift another queue Seven, one more. There we go. Right, so these go onto these studs here. And they line up. There we go. So End of step 18, kind of a couple of entrances here, storefronts going around. Right, and then what? Oh, there's a little there's a little note here. So step 19, we've got to do two one by ones cleared, capped with a one by one black tile, and it says running parallel to 33rd to 34th streets. The chapel-like three-storey high lobby has storefronts on its north and south side. There you go. So these are stores, storefronts on the north and south side of the Empire State. So I was right. They have our stores there. I wasn't sure. So then these little ones go just inside there. 
these are just like little entrance ways then for the lobbies into the shops kind of just added those bits in can't really see them there just onto these bits here then there's more storefronts so we need another one by four tile and then this time we need one by two clear a one by one clear and another one by two clear and it overhangs like that and then you cap it with another single black so you've got a one by five essentially piece you need that twice and that's going to form into the middle part here sort of the main entrance i guess In the older city sets in my brick link wanted this that you want for your city i think um i think kds that i when i first started building I, I had all the old um sets in my list like the um town hall and the, the green grocers but i've got them all now so uh, in terms of my city all my um all the modulars i've got except for the market square is it market uh, the one that was done by uh, somebody else um, but it, it doesn't look very good to me so I, I'm not going to bother getting that one so it's the only older one that I've not got uh, that I wanted to get um, I've got a couple uh, I do try and do the odd mock if there's a mock that really catches my eye so the most recent one I've done is the Lego uh, store by Bertha or Van Beek or Bricopolis um, is what his sort of handle is I've got a video coming out on that, but I've got some pictures on the Instagram channel if you wanted to see what that looks like. And that's the latest addition to the uh, to Brick Town. But I've bought an extra table, which is where it's just plonked at the moment. I've not put it into position yet. Um, but when I get the police modular, I'm going to put the road, extend the road round onto this new table and have the Lego store in the corner. It's based on the Leicester Square store, um, and then the police station next to it, and then. I think I'll try and make a Chinatown then around the rest of it. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's any um, any older ones that I, I'm after yet. Have you, have you got any KDS at your, like on your wanted list? Ah, uh, the regular city ones. I don't, um, I don't think there is. Keep an eye on the uh, the Lego City um, stuff, but not not old. I don't think there's any old stuff. I'm missing a police car, um, so it'd be good to have a look at some of the older police cars and put one of those in my city. I do have a box actually on the. Um, that my mum gave me from from my old collection and I think I've got the old hospital um, in there and the old police station from the would have been from about 1988 I think um, I was looking at the uh, facts that I've got it here let's get the instructions this one This is the one. So it's set set six three six three eight zero. This is a an old set. So I'm thinking I've got the there's a bucket of uh, bricks in there with this on top. So I'm thinking that it's probably got the bricks in there to build this. I know I've definitely got the base plate in there. And I've seen a couple of the windows, uh, but I remember this. I remember rebuilding this lots of times when I was a kid this was my uh, one of my main sets and I used to modify it as well so you've got like a little ambulance in there with a stretcher a few minifigures then inside you've got sort of a, an A&E kind of place where you can bring people back to life with the sort of standard control brick in there sort of a waiting room I think and then like a, a, a ward up up the top here there's like a little um, place to put your drink next to it um, I don't this is it's really old look at this you can see the uh 
you can see the inside of it there. Maybe I'll rebuild it and I'll, I'll do a little review of it for people that are <laughs> wanted to some nostalgia. Let's have a little arm above it as well, look, to do like a little light or an X-ray or something like that. Um, but this is a uh, let's take you back. Anyway, I digress. Back to the architecture build. Um, I'm glad you uh, you enjoyed the uh, modular reviews. They are they can be quite expensive. I see some people. Um, have told me they can get things for cheaper than what I've stated on the um, on the videos but of course it always depends on your location time of supply and demand and all that sort of stuff but if you shop around I think you can actually get some a little cheaper um, I haven't integrated any of the uh, any of the old sets into my uh, city I'm not sure if I would I kind of um, I feel like Lego these days is um, the standards of the design and stuff has really improved compared to uh, sets of older day. I mean, even that hospital, you know, it looked okay for nostalgia purposes, looks enjoyable. But you know, if you were to build a hospital today, I think it would look a lot better. So I'm not sure if I'd put some of the the older ones in. Have you put older ones in your? Have you got a city, KDS? Have you put older ones in yours? Like it's going to be one of the the main core of the building. Step twenty-five. That plonks right into the into the middle. Word of the day seems to be plonked. I think I've said that about twice already. And there's a little note here that says the Empire State Building has sixty-eight modernised high-speed elevators that transport passengers to their destinations up to. 20 or 40 percent faster than conventional elevators in modern commercial buildings using regenerated energy as one of the elevators descends the energy creates the power for the ascending elevators there you go you're getting tips and facts as well as we build today so and i, I can vouch for the uh, the elevators they do make your ears pop as you go up uh, similar to the shard in london as well Ah, so you're a collector and a seller on Bricklink. Yeah, I think I'll probably have to dive into some of the um, some of the older sets. I kind of went into a dark age after when I was a kid and went to university and stuff. And I've only since 2018 got back into Lego, so there's probably lo you know obviously loads of sets that have passed me by, and I've, I've mainly for the the risk of my wallet, I've tried not to look at too too many of the sets that I've missed. Otherwise, if I do, I'll probably end up wanting to buy all of them. Um, and I'm not sure whether that would be uh, would be very advisable from my bank manager's point of view. Hello, Crozy Film. Nice to see you. I can see there if it's Crozy or Cozy Film. That's a, that's a double look. Welcome to the stream. You join us on step 27. So we're starting to build some interest. Ah, look, these are these are elevators. These little silver. Here. It says these are eight high speed elevators in the building concourse to get you to the second level. So that's what we're building here. We've got two lots of these. One by four in red, hiding under there. position there you go you see the elevators there in that side nearly at the end of bag one I think not too many pieces left yeah <laughs> having a table left to fill is uh, is a daunting prospect I may need to uh, I kind of like my layout, that's the thing. So I'm a bit scared to to trash it all and redo it to try and get more s things. But there's a there's a couple of um, couple of sets in Bricktown which I'm willing to uh, to remove and get rid of 
uh, to make room for like, newer modulars or other sets that come out in the future. I've got a um, uh, Barnes and Noble bookshop in there, which was a, a mock, uh, and it's okay. And it's a, it was a great build, but um, it takes up a lot of space, so I don't know whether to uh, to get rid of it at some point make room for some uh, some other sets because I could probably fit two standard modular sets in that space right here we go some funny shapes being built here We're going into the more of the core of the building I'm guessing hence the red color coming through so step 33 yeah this is going on top of the main core already and that is the end of bag one so end of bag one we've got the city scene the sidewalk paving stones New York City cabs with some elevators going up to the um, lobby areas. We've got the storefronts, so obviously the glass going round, and we're starting to build the core. So let's tidy our spares away into the bag and get set two bags out. And I can see some windows coming in this set of bags. Right, so in this um, in this part, it looks like we're going to build up some more of the um, the lower levels, and then actually the main core is going to get higher as well. So let's get rolling. Ah, cool. Yeah, it's a uh, making making brick um, movies is a big thing on YouTube. There's lots of competition in that space, but they are um, the ones I've seen in different. You know, are fun to to look. Take a lot of work, don't they, to be able to do the films. thing going on here that and what work goes into these core elements it's the same on the Statue of Liberty so let's have a look and see these side studs I guess are going to be where all the windows end up going Snap it off. A 
and this leaves in the middle. Right, and now, hmm, interesting. You take take some tiles and almost like an illegal move. Right between the studs, right. Yes, Lego say it's a move, it's a move. Seems a little illegal. All cool going on. Rosie, what kind of films have you made then on your YouTube channel? If you're still there, what kind of things do you do? There's lots of studs going on here. So step 45. on top upside down clips in again interesting so this piece clips again upside down into the tiles you end up with the upside down piece in here and here comes some windows so we need 12 of these 4 6 8 10 12 and 12 on each side so we need another 12 in a minute the center core piece and so set of windows on one side the same on the back. There's going to be a lot of these, I can tell. There we go. So it is on both sides. So that's the end of step 46. And then 47, we actually stick this into position. So it's going to go something like that. See our main core is getting bigger. Now we need to do the next build twice. at 48. I'm going to do one of these twice. Do, 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 one by six. Another one by six. Another two by three and one of those at the tile. We've got two of those now, so uh, this goes on the side somehow. He says, No, you can tell this is going to be a fiddly one. Hmm. 
that way, that should fit in there. Doesn't seem like he's gonna wanna go there, to be honest. side building out now. Seems a shame to cover the elevators straight away with those things. You can't see them now. No, they're under cover. So the next thing has to be again two lots of these. To it, so there's some gold tiles, and then one by four with a blue plate, and then that goes on top. So you've got something that looks like that, lay it on its side. Four, what it is, there's some more steps, but I'll just make the other one before I turn the page over. We need two of these. Gold tiles. Uh, one by four plates. Where are you? Hiding underneath. Right, and then a one by four brick. Keep hiding today. Right, so we've got two of these bits, but we need to add some more to them. So flip it over. This looks like it can get rather complicated. There's some more information, some more learning facts coming up. Because we're making some extra windows here by the look of it. each of the pieces. Right, so we've got the two glass pieces just on here. So we've got to do the same again now, but for the other side, so they sandwich together. and create this kind of transparent glass piece here. So we'll do that again for the other, other one. So these go down on that on both sides. So you've got this kind of entrance way going on here. And it says the famous Art Deco lobby included an aluminium relief on the building. On the wall above the front desk in the Fifth Avenue lobby is one of the most famous images in New York City. A depiction of the building itself with the beam of light and radiating from the mast. So that's what these building pieces were for. Just above the lobby. 
So now it looks like we're going to be building uh, some bases for, of course, lots of windows. So a couple of one by six, and then lots of two by three plates to build this frame up. Like that. And then we want three by threes on the ends. And a couple of one by sixes then to make sure those plates don't go anywhere. So we've got this sort of frame going on. And then underneath, to make it level, put a couple of two by threes in uh, light bluish grey under there. So we've kind of got this frame going on. Then we want to put some one by sixes, three of them, across the bottom. I'm going to fill this right up now. So then we want either end, we want a one by two with some uh, studs sticking out on the side. Like this look here, and then we fill it up with two two by fours, either end, and then in the middle. Ooh, Two by eight. So we've got this big chunky piece now that we've built and start sticking some windows on. So we want four going up across the bottom and then two going across at the top. So we've got this pattern going on. Then there's a one by two with like a slider or a rail piece by two clear one by twos and then that would it looks like that then we've got six more windows going across three four five six and then just three going across so you can see a pattern forming here Kind of look going on then we need another one of those rail pieces another two glass pieces transparent pieces and of course you guessed it we finish off with some windows on the side in the same pattern as what we started with so four going up two going across look at that thing is going to hurt after this We've got this piece now. Oh, and we need to do that twice. Oh, heck, Lego when they do that. Make you build one and then go back to the beginning and build another one. I wish I'd say at the start of the process that you're going to need to build two of these. And wait till the end and you have to go back to the start. Usually one of these builders that like to build the things at the same time. So I'll do all of the first step, if, however many times I need to do it, then all the next step, rather than doing it. Um, all the way through once and then go back all the way and doing it again. So, same again then. Three by three. One by six. Another one by six. And then of course we finish up with a two by three underneath. In like grey, like bluish grey. So second frame. So got a few one by sixes going in. One by two with the studs on the side, each end. Two by fours. Second one constructed. Next up, then more windows. So the same pattern as before. So we've got four windows going up, or the grill pieces going up. Two going across. I could I could build this in my sleep. This part. It's 
slider get up there and then here we go again we need another six windows going across three four five six three going across Our pieces with two glass pieces in, and then the final lot of windows all going down, two going across, Ta da So we've got our two pieces that we've just constructed, and these are going on the front and the back. Push into the red studs, I guess. Well, I find it's a bit, bit of a tight squeeze. These, these. Oh, that was a tight squeeze. There's a the front going on. Didn't think it was going to go on then. Thought I'd missed something out. I'll get the other side on now. This uh, ends can be a bit. There you go. So, put the front on and the back. Oof. No KDS. This um, this I bought back in the uh, Black Friday sale. This one, so this wasn't a Christmas present. Uh, so I got this usually about ninety pound these, eighty nine ninety pound link, but I got this for about sixty pounds. I think it was um, in Black Friday. So. I've not got around to building it till now, so I thought I'd do it as a live stream. I did get the uh, James Bond DB5 for Christmas, and that's already built. So that was my only Lego Christmas present this year. What did you, what did you get for Christmas? Did you get any Lego? Oh, you got the you got the uh, the bookstore, did you? I got that um, in January this year when it when it came out. I couldn't couldn't wait for till Christmas to uh, to grab that. Put the windows on here. Did you enjoy building them? Um, have you built it yet, the birch? bookstore see quite a few interesting uh, mocks where people have bought a few of the few of those sets and made a really massive huge kind of store out of it the architecture looks quite good how can we do the winter village 
the uh, I did the Elf Clubhouse the other day. That's my first Winter Village um, build that I've ever ever got, and I enjoyed it so much. All of the gingerbread house, so um, I think I'm starting to get into that. That may be something I'll start looking for for some of the older ones. But I think the older Winter Village ones were more more um, real life, like firehouses and things, weren't they? I quite like this mystical fantasy kind of thing they got going on with the elves and gingerbread houses. I just don't know if I'd enjoy the real ones, like the fire station and that as much. I might do, I suppose. Question is, do you do you keep your winter village sets out all year on display or do you pack them away? And get them out every year and rebuild them? Is the firehouse any good as a build? Let's put these windows on. Two of these now, kind of entrance ways, probably not entrance ways, probably just going to go around the ends, I think. Yeah, we've got these two pieces now, and they're going to go around the entrances to the, the lobby if they fit. Let's have a look. One went on okay, Let's swivel it around. Okay, just a bit tight. There we go. We've got uh, that entrance now. We've got the front and we've got the other entrance that side. Quite a nice entrance way going on there to the main shopping centre. Now I think we're going to be building up more of this uh, central piece here with another core piece added on with some, of course, some more windows. Yeah, I might um, I might look at the uh, fire station. Maybe I'll see if I get a second hand one. What other what other Winter Village sets did they have? They had the train, didn't they? The train one looks good. I like the way that the uh, was it the Christmas tree was spinning around as the train goes around the track. I see quite a lot of people put that around their Christmas tree every year. That always looks quite nice, but. I'm, I imagine it's quite expensive to get second hand now. This kind of H shape going on. going on now so the H has now got a bit more height and some studs going in and there's more square it off so we're nearly at the end of bag two and 
And then of course we have more windows to put on. Don't forget the windows. Yeah, the Winter Village Toy Shop. I think I saw a picture of that the other day actually when I was looking through. Is that all of the Winter Village or is there more than those sets? I'm not that familiar with the with the range to be honest. I don't know how far back it goes. So we've got the windows now on the front and the back, or sort the of back and the front, whichever way around you want to do it. And that now goes on top of this main section here. And we've got this main tower going up now, front of the back. It's looking good, but I do have a lot of windows left. So where did I miss putting windows on? Got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve sets of window grill pieces left out of this bag, which makes me feel like I've missed putting some on. Well, they just spares because you're going to use them later on. It's not like they're going to do that. Hmm. Maybe I'll just keep them to the side and carry on. Can't see any obvious. Oh, I know where. Hold the front page. We did cover these entrances up. Missed that. So these have got to be covered up with some more window pieces. Always use it ever when there's extra pieces. And even when you think you've got missing pieces that aren't in the bags, you do use it error. In my experience, me not emptying stuff out of the bag properly. That's better. So it uses all these up now. There we go. That's better. So you've got the front and the back. Yeah. Oh, Toy Shop was back in 2011, was it? So there's probably quite a few um, few sets then. Uh, bakery. Uh, yes, the post office. Yeah, I do, rem I do remember that now. Sandwich Workshop. I might have to have a look. I imagine that they're quite expensive to buy, um, you know, box. So probably collecting the pieces on BrickLink. Um, would be uh, the best way to go. So on to bag set three. And this is going to build a large tower. If you can't see, it's going to be going up here. Might struggle to get this into the into the camera as it gets higher. So we're on um, bag sets of three. Did I say was, was it six or five bags? I can't remember. Five. So we've got two more sets of bags to go. So we're about halfway through. grey pieces here. I did a train station as well. Yeah. Lots of grey bricks. And of course lots of window pieces. Two bags of window pieces. a lot of window pieces uh, right so we need to build a next frame then 
quite a lot of pieces here. kind of flat piece going on. Tiles going in there, and then another set of these bricks. Then we want a couple of one by twos, one by two tile. Go on top. Which ones? Then again. This kind of thing going on. First set of windows for this set of bags going on. I wonder if they'll ever do a shard version. It's quite hard to do shard because of the slope. It'd be interesting if they did do one. Depends how they interpret it, I guess. So, windows on one side, we'll do the other side now. State building actually has in, in real life. Uh, so I started the uh, I started the channel KDS in um, in well May really. I, I registered it in April. But, um, I was just doing some research about how you do YouTube, what equipment to get, you know, to start you off recording because I wanted to do something during the lockdown um, because. Lego supplies were a bit short as well. Let's have the size as well. So I uh, I set the channel up to do that. So I've only only been doing it really seven months, I suppose. Um, and I've, so I've got four hundred and well, it's four hundred and fifty three, I think, followers before I come on earlier. Um, and so I'm doing all right, I think. I don't um, you know, I only post a video once a week. I started to do live streams recently. Um, so I'm still getting my still getting my feet with the live streams um, and I know some people will put out videos every day uh, but I, I like to um, keep the content a bit more interesting rather than just saying oh I've put a new shelf up or oh I've just dusted a latest model um, I think if you 
if you overstretch yourself and post too regularly then the content actually isn't that good so I, I try not to do that of course you know everybody's got their own own way of doing it I'm, I'm not um, saying the others are wrong um, but uh, yeah but for me posting once a week and that I'm doing all right there we go added that other other level on do you, do you have a channel KDS have you found have you found any growth this year I think it was particularly good for a lot of people because of um, uh, COVID so people were stuck at home you know so um, more people were watching which was good so it's probably it was probably a good time in that regard to start it, but also because lots of people were home and had spare time lots of people did start channels Ooh, who is in the community I'm not sure if I've got if I've got many in the community as such on the I know um, people like who I mentioned before Berthel Van Beek or Brickopolis who does the uh, the mocks he subscribed to the channel hello Berthel if you're watching or if you've watched recently or watching the playback um, so he subscribes there are a few others uh, other bloggers as well I think that follow that do Lego related um, items Actually, I've been uh, I've been sort of watching a lot of non-Lego related videos recently. Actually, funny enough, I've been looking at a lot of um, Microsoft Flight Simulator ones, um, just because the game was new and I was interested to see how people uh, were using it. Um, but I've also got um, a couple of other brick bucks. Now I've not looked at um, not looked at the invested ones. I think I, I think I've seen them. Um, couple of in my sort of videos I might like to watch brick bucks um, but I do look at some other other channels see what people are talking about what people like to listen to in terms of topics and stuff just to get some ideas for future content that I might be able to do based on my Lego city or things that I'm doing in Lego uh, so I think the standard kind of um, people will be on the list like Jang bricks watch some of those uh, watch some of Brixie's stuff uh, Frost Bricks as well an Australian guy um, who actually entered one of the um, one of his designs into Lego ideas watched, watched him a couple of times he does some live streams now and again so it does ad hoc builds has lots of bricks um, so yeah I kind of just uh, I float around really well, on terms of subscriber list, those are the ones that I mentioned that I subscribe to. But then you get other other people coming up with my trends, uh, like Bevan Bricks and things like that, which I don't subscribe to, but sometimes I watch the odd video that they put up. pattern going on now a bit more indent oh look I've got to do these four times it's one of those so we've got to repeat this process four times now I guess this is going to give you the uh, give us the height that we need to do so we've got to do that four times well another three times so back we go such snakes and ladders this thing 
You go so far and then you get pushed right back to the start. But this time I'm gonna build it concurrently, I think. Is he doing commission work? I've never really thought about doing that. That'd be quite fun. But only fun for the, I mean, half the fun for uh, you know building your city is that you're you're doing it as a creative thing process, you know yourself. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to outsource my <laughs> Lego building because then it'd just be like somebody else's work that you're just storing for. That's <laughs> so fun. That, I don't know. I don't really get that, but uh, you know each to their own if that's what people want to do I've, I've found uh, being able to do Lego is really uh, a really good creative outlet especially in these times where you can't necessarily you know go out to theatres and do other creative things that you might do uh, I've found Lego helps you well, I suppose not so much this building the instructions but when you do um, do your own mocks or uh, you know to take a look at your city and tweak things and change things, that's where your creativity comes out. Right, it's nearly there. Three of these. Next, I'm really looking forward to starting my next project, which is my theme park. Uh, just waiting for a couple of pieces to come through the post, actually. Uh, for me to do the ballast on the train track for the Disney train to go around and then once all of those pieces have come in I can then start doing the uh, putting the layout together I've already planned it out ready to go so as soon as all the little ballasty parts come in I shall then lay out my table and I'll do a video episode on this um, of doing the ballast and also the putting the uh, all the sets out um, so, you know, hit subscribe if you want to be notified of when that comes out. I'm missing some one by ones. And by missing, I mean I just can't see them. So I've gone one by one. Yeah, definitely one by four. Maybe we'll come back to this one. I'll right, carry on with these two. Just lighten the amount that are on the table. I can't see them. Far in the instructions. Rewinds. You hate it when that happens. Let's try that all over again. These funny, funny shapes. 
Yeah, that's right. Next is um, the modular, so the police modular. So I'll order that um, later tonight. I find in the UK that the uh, it usually goes on sale about half eleven ish. I guess because of the their server time is probably set to European time or something, so it, it comes out slightly earlier. So I will be ordering that. That's my next next targeted purchase. Um, and then, as I said, after that, it will be the uh, the Lantern Gardens. Is it? I think it's called the, the Chinese New Year set. So I'm going to make a Chinatown next to that. Not that there's much room, but I'll I'll squeeze in what I can squeeze in. I saw a brick set I think had a, a way of converting that Spring Lantern Park into like a modular so but it doesn't take much effort so I might do that build it and then if I need to convert it yeah I'm not sure about the road system um, they don't, I don't think they look very nice I've seen a couple of people online um, review them and use them and then looking at them I didn't think they looked that um, that great I had a bit of um, I was a bit hopeful when I heard that they were bringing out new ones um, but then looking at what they've done um, yeah not really sure I don't I don't think I'll um, I don't think I'll bother upgrading to the new road plates to be honest I do have a funny um, size in brick town, so I've had to mock up a, a uh, 16 by 32 um, road plate kind of uh, traffic light crossing just to make up the space because my um, normal plates didn't really fit snugly. So I was hoping that this new road system would um, would fix that problem for me. Um, but I think it actually gives you more problems because like you say it's a bit fiddly and the um, you have to raise I think your modulars to fit it um, and then also I don't think they look very nice because they've got those extra squares where you can put like road humps or speed speed bumps in the road and then if you don't have that it's got lots of little squares in there they've not won me over I'm afraid I don't think I may buy one set just to experiment with it and see what it does maybe I can modify it or something but um, I've got a few more road plates uh, extra um, so I should be okay to do the table uh, finish the table off in a new layout fingers crossed people moan about the old road plates as well especially the curve because of the space that you get um, both PC and my city you can actually make quite good use of of that curve to do like a square we can add things like newsstands and uh, things like that in so actually I think it's even though the, the curved ones get a bit of a hard press for the for that and actually the not being able to do the, a curve going round uh, but there's ways around that you can put bollards in and stuff like that so I I quite like the old road pits put some windows in now before we do the next layer Do that again two more times. Mm 
Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two done. Number three, so now we need to, we're not done yet, we now need to put lots of 1x2x2s on with the windows. I don't have any of them in the city. Um, KDS. Hi Aaron, welcome to the stream, good to see you on here. Um, I don't have any, uh, I always say Ninjago, it's Ninjago isn't it? Ninjago um, sets in the city. I've got the uh, the dock behind me, over here, if you see on the main screen. Um, but the actual city is down here, if you see by my legs. Um, because I didn't have enough room, because I didn't have the table, the extra table. I've got the extra table now, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to squeeze it in, but I'm going to try figure something out. Because they're such good sets, it's a shame not to have them in the city. Maybe they almost deserve their own kind of cyberpunky kind of uh, area, because the detail in them is so good. Be interesting to see the uh, the garden sitting next to the city to see how because it, it's supposed to integrate, isn't it, and expand it. So it'd be interesting to see what that looks like when it's configured as well. Probably gonna take quite a lot of space up. I might need to think about that. Probably take a whole table up on its own. Always feels like you need to surround it by water as well because of the amount of water that's at the bottom. Lots to think about, lots to think about. <laughs> yeah, there, well, there is another room that's uh, I don't think I need to move house, but there is another room that's larger than the room I, I've, I've been sanctioned for my Lego. But I don't think uh, I don't think I'll expand unless I build a room at the end of the garden, <laughs> which is a uh, you know not an impossibility. Who knows? How you going, Aaron? Are you good on this New Year's Eve? Only one more. There it is. Right, so we've got three of these, but we're not done yet. We need to do the upside down. Pieces that go into here. Yeah, Aaron, I'll be doing the same as well. 
So I always think it's a shame that the modular comes out on New Year's Eve rather than for Christmas because <laughs> could do with it at Christmas time. I had to build it up. Hey Lynx, how's it going? Good to see you. I think the uh, the Americans that have the whole basement dedicated are lucky people. Uh, I also see people like in Canada and that it's build, you know, extensions because the way they can just build things in Canada um, with whole Lego things in. But in London, you know, space is a premium, so it's quite quite a lot diff more difficult to build such large spaces uh, in. So let's see if this connects up. So we've got four of these. I struggle to get this into the build camera view, I think. Let's see. We're up to there now. At an angle. Oh, that's a bit of work. Need a drink after that. Thanks, Lynx. Thanks for the support. Much appreciated. It was nice not to speak to yourself on these things. Happy New Year to you as well. Next year is going to be a tough year because I am running out of space to put Lego. So I think tough decisions are going to have to be made. I'm not going to be able to get everything I want all the time. Right, there's two by two. Brick blindness has struck again. Two by two in an L shape. I need two more. There's one. Hiding from me. It's like these pieces don't want to be stuck together. What's going on? Come on, you were you were made to be stuck together. Right. We're off. Yeah, do it links they're worth uh, they're worth doing just do some research on you know setting up all the technical stuff you need to get going with it but it's not that it's not that difficult Thanks, yeah, I actually, uh, actually commissioned, got somebody to do them for me, you know, the overlays and the intro and stuff. So if you're going to do it, you might as well do it properly. Try to um, 
steal some ideas from the gaming community about how they do their live stream for their gaming. Um, so it's worth, um, you know, worth the investment for it because it's a, uh, you know, you should look professional as much as well as professional as you can do, I guess. Now, I don't have a tutorial on it actually. I've not done one. Um, there are plenty of them out there though, um, by uh, a lot of game uh, gaming kind of YouTubers do lots of um, lots of how tos on it. Maybe I'll do one in the future if it's of interest for people. It feels like it's a bit like just because I'll do it. Not many people will be interested in it. So, this weird contraption forming here. I've got these camera pieces used in here as well. Yeah, links. I thought the, uh, the two two cameras would be better because I see a lot of people just doing the front on view, and you can't really see the detail. Actually, most people probably just want to see the build itself rather than uh, sort of my ugly mug talking about stuff. So I went for two cameras, and of course, I picked the worst worst time because of um, webcams in the UK were all out of stock everywhere. So it was quite tough to get hold of the these two that I've got. Um, but I think they work quite well. Hopefully you guys enjoy the views that you get from them. Uh, I'm using um, Streamlabs OBS links to do this. Uh, I did start with OBS but I found Stream uh, Streamlabs is uh, a little bit better because you can do the alerts. So if somebody subscribes on here you'll see a thing pop up and say such and such has just subscribed. Not that anybody has yet during a stream, but you know, if one of you guys out there wanted to subscribe now, you'd see the animation, you could see what it's about. Or you could prove to me that it doesn't work, one or the other. Now, oh, cool links, whereabouts are you in the UK? So we've got three of those, we need to do one more. Yeah, cool. If you, if you want more information links on uh, the setup, just uh, message me on uh, Instagram through the Brick link, uh, just through sorry Brick Talk TV, um, and I'll uh, I'll happily tell you some, give you some advice on stuff that I use. If you want more info on uh, how to stream and stuff, of course I'm I'm not claiming to be a professional here because I've not been doing it that long, but I can at least show you some places I started with mine. So there we go. These pieces going now. And those jumpers on top, and now we've got to cover this in twenty eight grill pieces to depict some windows. Yay, more windows. Come on.
get no problem links just send me a message on Instagram and I'll be happy to help Hey there. Imagine I can straighten these up properly when it, when it's put together. Right, we got that. No, well, and we got that. And that goes on top. Like that. Oh yeah. Again, struggling with the height here, but you get the gist. So that's level 126. Step 126, shall I say? Level. Three plates. Gotcha. We've got this thing going on. And bits. Right, so we've got two of these. One by fours with one by two on studs on the side. One by one with studs. Facing out, and that attaches. Oh, hold up! Jump was on top. Piece looks like that twice, and then that attaches. So this other piece we just constructed. So you get this kind of looking piece like that. And on top of that. Going like that, you stick a one by three, one by two starts on the side. So we're building this up again. everywhere this kind of being built now and then we need to put more windows on Same on the back. Yep, links, that's right. This is the Empire State Building from the Architecture Range. Details of the set are. Ooh, I'm trying to find my finger now. Oh. Across the top of the screen. 
Fingers nowhere near where it should be, but at the top. <laughs> right, so got the top row of windows going on. top bit here this is getting towards a viewing deck maybe it's the viewing deck and then we need to ooh, we're not going to get much of a view of this I'm afraid but this has got to put more windows in that in the bottom level so it's just another five I have been to New York yes and I have been up the Empire State Building I've been I've been twice to New York First time I went because my friend from university was working at the United Nations and uh, she had a, a flat so I managed to stay there for free, just paid for the airfare. Um, that was back in I think 20, uh, God, when would that have been, about 20, 2007 and then I went again a couple of years, 2012-ish I think. We've added some the lower level windows up here. Uh, so the first time I only went for the weekend, which is not advisable if you want to see stuff. Um, even though my friend was letting me stay for free, um, obviously she was only she was working most of the week, so I just stayed there for a long weekend. But the second time I went for uh, was it a week? Yeah, about a week, which is much better because you don't have to rush around to see everything. So I did all the usual. I did all the tourist hotspots of Statue of Liberty, um, Empire State Building. Went to uh, Rockefeller Center. Mm. On the subway, went to see a Yankee. Went to Yankee Stadium, but I didn't go to watch baseball. I went to watch, as they call it, soccer or football. So I watched New York City Football Club. Um, who was at the time managed by Patrick Vieira and Frank Lampard was still playing and Pulau was, was it Pulau, is that how you pronounce it? The Italian um, guy was playing for them. So I got to watch that, which was fun. Went to Broadway and watched Aladdin, the musical, which was also fun. Oh nice, so you get to go there quite a lot then do you, since your auntie lives there. I would like to go more often, I must admit, I do enjoy it there. It was always, uh, I remember the first time I went there, and I was like, oh my god, this is just like the movies. Because you, I guess you just, you know, growing up watching American films, you don't appreciate it. actually, it's just like their normal way of living. <laughs> well I didn't at the time. So you're like, oh my god, steam comes out of the... Uh, the sewers like it, or the subway as it does on the in the movies and all that sort of stuff I feel like you're on a set of Die Hard or something like that so I do I do enjoy it of course I actually end up going to uh, Chicago more often now because my, my work is based the business I work for is based in Chicago so I go there quite usually a couple of times a year obviously not this year so these pieces now have been constructed, so these are going to be the last bits for this bag and we need to stick these into strict instructions here it says, into the second into the second black stud here, so it kind of juts out so you get this kind of look here, so these two pieces one on either side here interesting so we're done with bag three bag four which I think is a double bag here we go it's gonna be lots of windows in this one I think and then we're gonna be on the last bag after this I went, I went to 
San Francisco be two years ago now. Uh, I've been twice again to San Francisco. Do uh, I do uh, enjoy that? Enjoy it there as well. So right, let's see what bag Paul has in store for us. All right, three by threes. So you've got this platform kind of built. out one by three brick in light grey straight in the middle okay so let's sort of frame going. Nice blue bottom to it. And now we need to put 16 windows on. Cross. All these windows. Oof. Done that. I've got to do that twice. Let's make sure we don't go. Too far back again this time. Same again.
one by two. I need two one by two plates. And they are No I don't. Da, da, da. Fatal Lego Builder scene of not reading the instructions properly. It's only saying of this one then. Proving that a man can't do two things at once and gets distracted. work on that one. Oof. Be crisis averted. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Right, so back to this one. Falls with studs on. So another frame going on now, and then same again, blue, one by six going on. So we've got this, and again we need to cover it with all the windows again. Hey there. Oh, so there we go. So now we've got two of these. And they're gonna form actually about side to see. They're gonna cover up this space down the bottom. On the side. So you see now these two pieces have gone in there. Now we're gonna make a really long piece which is probably two two times which is going to cover this side and then obviously the other side with lots of windows 
So hold on to your hats. This is going to be a long one. So we'll do two of these. I'm going to do the first one, stop there, and then I'm going to do the next. Come back, build this again. Look both as we go instead. That's that. So we've got two of those. sixes plates going up and uh, one by two going in the middle this kind of thing on top so we'll do that twice so we've got that twice now we need to stick eight windows on so and this corner Two windows and then another two. So we've kind of got that going on, we've got to do that twice. Two pieces like that now, and then continuing on. now and we want some brackets and repeat for this one Hey, I saw that they um, Lego had announced the uh, adult planner Lego build program back into studio. Um, I was having a look. Uh, well, actually, yesterday I was doing some instructions for how I ballast my train tracks uh, for a future video. And I noticed when you load up now, you get all of those different designs in there. Um, so yeah, it's tempting to to submit a design. I was almost last time when they ran the competition. Nearly bought the um, the light railway 
train that was on there. Um, but instead, I ended up using, um, well, actually, I've, I've taken JK Brickworks version of his like railway, and I found that it doesn't really work very well, particularly in the way that I've implemented it. So I've ordered some bigger um, motors to see if that helps. I need to do a slight redesign of it. I've got the track laid out in Bricktown already, going round, but the train doesn't go around it very well. Whoa. So now we need to do oh, 20 of these and nine. KDS, do you, uh, are you going to submit anything to the adult fan design? Here we go. This long piece now. I've got the windows down the side. Interested to. Yeah, I was hoping for that, that they'll get some of the uh, the rejects from the 10k club. Uh, actually, the guy who you know, the guy who does the uh, who actually got the Barracuda base set, he does a load of modulars that are really good, but um, don't see, don't get approved. It's because the amount of detail that he packs into his designs probably wouldn't lend itself very well to Lego to translate and make a profit on, but. Ooh. I'm hopeful some of those things come out. Right, so, right, so it's a bit wonky at the moment. I guess it will straighten up once we put it into place, but that's one. So let's do that. Repeat that again for the other one. I don't know what I'd submit to the uh, adult fan program if I was to build something. Yes, it was the guy that did the bakery one as well. He, he regularly gets stuff hitting 10k, I think, but doesn't get further than that. He did a really good James Bond villain lair as well. Which was really impressive. It had a a sort of a beach house in the front if you've not seen it and then it had a big volcano in the back and inside the volcano had a couple of um, roller coaster tracks with a little cart that would go round the kind of thing you'd expect to see in the James Bond villain layer I think James Bond is ripe for Lego to take advantage of to build some iconic Layers or scenes in. Do the uh, Fort Worth 
Is it Fort Worth? Fort William. Oh no, you will get it mixed up. What's the, what's the Fort Knox, that's it. Fort Knox in um, Goldeneye. Things like that. Not Goldeneye, Goldfinger. Ah, start again. It is detailed, yeah. I think for me, the uh, the detail is what really makes a model stand out. That's why I was a bit disappointed with the book bookstore uh, the last module because they had a chance to really put detail inside of it, and it was a little sparse. The bookshop, particularly, um, in my opinion, anyway. It's a shame they never um, never took advantage of that and put some more detail in, but. This uh, the, the police station looks more detailed than what I've seen in the pictures, and uh, that designer that's designed it is uh, who did the club outhouse as well. Seems to be a pretty good designer, Chris McVeigh. I think his name is. Uh, it depends on the idea set. I need the first one I bought. Um, was the Friends set because I was quite interested in the uh, well, in Friends the program, so I got that one. I've since got the um, ones I've got. I've got the Flintstones, which I built the other day, obviously. Um, Pirates of Barracuda Bay, and that was a, that was a must because it harks back to my favourite set, which is from childhood. Uh, what else did I get? What else is an idea set? I had to get the because um, I converted friends into a modular I had to get the parts for the Big Bang Theory and I think if the uh, I think Seinfeld is due to come out next year isn't it and I, I never really watched the program to be honest so I don't really know much of it but I probably will buy the set so that I can add another level to my friends and Big Bang modular and have a Seinfeld apartment level uh, what other ideas have I got ideas set Trying to think now. I've got the fisherman's dock. I've also got the Saturn V rocket. That was an, was that an ideas? No, it wasn't. Was it an ideas? I feel like it was an ideas. Um, I think that's that's it for the ideas set. So I've had over the years. I haven't got the tree house or anything like that. Do you, do you get many uh, Lego idea sets? Said in the Flintstones uh, live stream the other day, if, they, if somebody come up with a Wacky Races ideas set, I'd be all over that. I'd love to have the Wacky Races. <laughs> Is that most of them? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's most of the uh, Lego ideas. Maybe the ones that company out here. Here we go. So we're putting the all the windows in. I did this twice to cover the outside of the building. How did you find the treehouse in KDS? Was it a good build? I was I wasn't sure about that one. You're gonna get the uh, was it Winnie the Poo's out, isn't it? Soon. And of course, we've got the piano as well, the grand piano. That was an idea, wasn't it? I enjoyed that the grand piano. Again, did this side. This is how I feel like the uh, Lego dots is going to be. Just constantly sticking these things down. They retire in the treehouse, aren't they? At some point soon. I, I thought I read somewhere so they wanted to 
reduce the number of ideas ranges out for sale at one time. Doctor Who? No, I don't think I've seen the Doctor Who set. I've got that, oh, Back to the Future as well, I've got, that was a Lego idea set, wasn't it? Um, so we've got the Back to the Future DeLorean. Okay, so we, you're safe to get the treehouse for another year. I'm really looking forward to the Home Alone one. I guess that'll be out next Christmas. I can't remember now, I lose track of what one's been approved and what ones are coming out soon. Then the is Winnie the Pooh the next one? It's been that's that's coming out. Yes, I've got the Ecto one as well. That little Ecto one was a really good one. I'm actually building the large one at the moment. I'm a bag four I think out of twelve on that one. I've got a chance to continue the build. I'm looking forward to getting that one done. I'm not putting the rust stickers on though. Two of these. Now let's bring this in. And so we're going to cover it over here like this. See some windows are slightly out of place. Shape, isn't it? It's quite cool. So that's level 100, or step 170. So now we are on the final bag, bag five. This should be fun because we're gonna start doing the the top piece. going to see the viewing deck and things like that at the top I guess. Got a bag of windows, a chair for the windows. Right so let's move this to the side. Was a Scooby Doo mystery machine an idea set? I don't think, was it? Mm. Can't remember now. Should really know that. I built that the, a couple of months ago. So we've got to build four of these up. For a childhood perspective, it would be cool if they did a Knight Rider kit car. Be another iconic vehicle. I suppose there's quite a lot. There's like 18 van, maybe Airwolf, a helicopter. Alright, so we've got that. We've got to do that five times now. Four times, sorry, three more times.
one done. Yeah, Goonies would be cool. It's got a lot of legs with Goonies. You could uh, you could do the ship. You could do the like a little scene for the caves you know, with the booby traps. I know Lego would never um, Lego would never do it, but. Um, Use the fire, it seems to be fireworks going off in the back. Um, Lego would never do it, but a horror series would be cool. If you could get some scenes from um, some of the classic horrors. I mentioned this before because you get the psycho house and stuff like that. I can't ever see them uh, doing that though because of their principles. That one done. One more to go. You could probably get a soft mini feet, can you, from a, from a custom place? I'm sure some. I'm, I'm sure someone must do them. You put up Firestar toys. I think um, I'll get a few of mine. I recently got, um, and this is for the on the main camera. I recently got uh, John McClane from Die Hard minifig there because um, I was actually that's the one thing I was tempted to do was try to do a Nakatomi Plaza. Um, build kind of similar to this Empire State Building actually build it so that you could actually open it up and you could see some iconic scenes a bit like you do with the Jurassic Park gate at the back you know so you could put a lift shaft through the middle have an air, air conditioning air duct thing um, the roof the office where Hans Gruber is and that sort of stuff uh, but I imagine you can, get, you can probably get a sloth from, uh, from one of those custom fig places, I'm sure. Somebody must do one. I just won't have the rest of the uh, the sets to go with it. Right, so these four that we've built are going to form these front bits here. And then the back bits. those two there and then swivel it round do the same on the back. I don't know how this set suddenly just covers itself up with the windows. There you go look so that's the this coming together. An impressive set. Now we've got to do some roof stuff. So let me see if I can Position this in the shop to see a bit of the roof. There you go. So now we're doing the roof part. Uh, I think the, the custom minifig prices will vary. Sometimes you can get them, uh, you know, for five pounds or something. But that the John McLean one was. Uh, was twenty pound actually quite expensive, but I did get a. I think it was a twenty percent off, so it was about sixteen pounds, I think. So it's quite expensive for that one, but I think it's because it's quite a sought after figure. It's worth having a look on the website if you've got time, because they've got lots of different minifigures on there. You might find something that you're after. I do Hans Gruber as well, so I want to get Hans Gruber at some point. Four of these bracket pieces, and they're going to go down the side like this. <laughs> yeah, ouch indeed. So 
Okay. Step 178. We're getting closer to the end. Uh, we've got the four windows at the front. Let's get the back. Do this without, without looking. Ooh. Jumpers right here. Gives you quite a good view of this actually from this camera angle. So you can see the roof coming together. Uh, well, LGM, we are. There's 201 steps, so 130 pages, and we're on step 179 or page 119, so we are very close to finishing. The end is in sight. Dark transparent pieces going in now. This is kind of the viewing area at the top coming together now. Probably need to do a Lego King Kong now to hang off the off the side of this. Transparent piece and slate piece. Do that twice. So like that. So got this looking piece now that goes right on top. Like that. There's a bit of a viewing deck going on there. Now we're near the, near the end piece now because we've got the, the uh, I don't know, antennae kind of piece on, whatever you, I don't know actually what you call it at the top, but we've got to put that piece on. So
this area of the police going together. piece going on top. So I've kind of got this airily piece here. And then one by one's built out here. That and now we've got to build this thing that's gonna cover it up. Look at it. So, tumble with a one by one on silver slope piece and the rail piece. This thing going on. there so we've got to do that twice not many pieces left now Final piece of education. A 222 foot or 68 metre radio antenna was erected on top of the tower in 1950, allowing the area's television stations to broadcast from the building. On top of the tower is a 230, uh, 203 foot pinnacle, much of which is covered by broadcasting antennas and surmounted with lightning rod. There you go. So that's what we're building here. see that on the camera but it's going to get higher yet so I don't know if you're going to see this on the main build cam might be too tall in the end so we have to build this aerial here and then we stick it You can't see it. <laughs> but yeah, looks like that. Uh, you'll see it on the main camera in a second. And that appears to be the. That is the build. There we go. We're done. So we started what? What time is it now? So we started two hours and 45 minutes ago. And we've done 1,700 odd pieces build to build this. Empire State Building. Started on the bottom, building out the plates, 
uh, put that in the sort of stands. We put the um, mini cabs or the sort of New York cabs going around here with the sidewalks and the crossings all the way around here. Started to build out the glass frontage for the shops with the entrance ways going on. We, there's an escalator in there as well, a couple of escalators to show you how to people can get up to the lobbies. And then we built the main core going all the way up to the top. Then we built the surround windows and stuck those on. And then we finished off just now with the, uh, the main top. So let me just flip back to the main screen. Okay, yes, do join us for our next stream. So here we go, you can see it on the main screen now. So you can see how big it is. It's quite a large, uh, large model. And I need to figure out where I'm actually going to stick this now. Probably have to, as I said, probably have to stick it in the bedroom uh, or on a shelf somewhere um, so that it can be uh, looked at. Uh, so this is uh, coming to the end of this stream now. So happy new year to everybody. I uh, hope you have a good evening and celebrations tonight. Stay safe. Um, our next stream is going to be, I think, on the 10th of January. So we've got a, uh, a little a gap uh, to the next one. And then we'll be, as I mentioned earlier, doing the architecture Eiffel Tower. So it's only a small build, so it won't take too long. Uh, but do keep an eye on the channel because there might be uh, a surprise one coming up, depending on if a particular set turns up in time or not uh, and we'll be doing a live build of that as well uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that the uh, next episode does drop tomorrow on new year's day uh, we'll be doing a review of the uh, lego city airplane set uh, and in the future i'm going to do a video and show you how i hung it above bricktown as well so keep your eye out for that so hit subscribe if you found this build uh, useful do or helpful do uh, smash the like button as well be most appreciated and hit subscribe if you've not already hit subscribe and until the next stream in a couple of weeks or 10 days, I'll uh, have a good New Year's and I'll see you then.